Breaking news here on Martin Lucas Investor. SoFi Technologies up 1.91%, 2% right now, uh, live as I'm making this video. Now, SoFi Technologies is one of my favorite stocks to own and to keep long term. It's not a short term investment, it's a long term investment for me. I like the digital bank space. I believe that digital banks are the future. They'll replace brick and mortar banks. However, the trouble is, in the last few days, SoFi has had a, a bit of a Bit of a bad run. Why is it at a, at a bad run? Why has this happened? Well, because of Sam Bankman Fried and FTX and all that other debacle nonsense. Um, it has interests in crypto, has investments in crypto. So it's sold off. Now, why is it sold off? Uh, SoFi is uh, regulated and governed as a bank, so which is good. It is why I invested in it. It's why I don't invest in Coinbase and other things like that, FTX. I wouldn't touch them with a barge pole. But um, bank stocks I like, particularly as inflation is, sorry, interest rates are going up. People are, um, the banks are making more money because of interest rates going up. And that's not going to be going down anytime soon. So while you're here, smash the like button and nearly forgot, smash the like button, very, very important. And don't forget to uh, click subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. So SoFi is a digital bank. It's a long-term investment. It's, a begin it's the beginning of its S-curve, if you like. Some would regard it's probably overpriced somewhat. However, um, I, I am in. Now, I bought some more. I doubled my position. If I share with you my position, when the news broke about Sam Bankman Freed, um, companies that have crypto on their books started to, get started to get investigated. So SoFi got looked at and it dropped. Now, I'm down 21%. I was down like 30, 40% at one point, but I doubled my position. I've only got a small position. Uh, it's 2% of my portfolio, but that's about right for this kind of stock for my particular balance of my my portfolio anyway. But um, it went down dramatically. I bought some more a couple of days ago. I've got uh, another buy order set at $4 if it goes down there. And that will that will really lower my average. Uh, I will double up again at that point. I don't know if it will go there or not. But however, so far I presented myself with an opportunity to, uh, opportunity to buy. Because over the last couple of days, if we look at it, it started to pick up again, even though we're down still on the week. Over the last couple of days, it started to rally because they've done nothing wrong. They're not going to be in trouble. I don't believe with their connections to um, to crypto. Yes, they're losing some money. That's not good. We know that. But they've not broken any laws, as I understand it right now, from the research that I am doing. Everything looks OK. So I just feel that um, SoFi is being sold because it's risky. It's a bit scary right now. Um, bad news around the stock. So it's being sold down. But for me, it's a long term investment. I like it. I'm holding it. What do you think? If you want to check out my full playlist of SoFi, uh, click up here. But if you are into crypto and you are into um, this kind of space as well, you might be interest, interested to know Satoshi Nakamoto, uh, otherwise known as um, Dr. Craig Wright, I'm in conversation with him right now to bring him onto the show. But on Friday, if you uh, join us live on the show, I have Alex Agut, who is the CEO and co-founder of Handcash and heavily invested in Bitcoin, joining me on Friday. If you click up here, that will take you to that show and you can be part of that on Friday. That's it from me. Until next time, take care of yourselves and each other.